All right, Gordon, Flash Gordon, how are we doing? <laughs> doing fantastic. That was a great game. It was. Where are you calling from today? Uh, I'm calling from Massachusetts in the US. Wow. Okay. And many Spurs fans out there? Haven't seen any yet, but you know, <laughs> I'll keep looking. You're starting the trend. You're starting the trend. Yeah. Off. All right. So uh, you've been you've watching been watching the game in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, what did you think of it? And uh, yeah, and as a Spurs fan in general, I mean, how long have you been sporting uh, Spurs for as well? So I'm I'm pretty new to Spurs. I only started following soccer after the 2018 World Cup. Football, and, football. Fo sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, but I fell in love with Kieran Trippier. Oh my so I god! I decided to follow Spurs. <laughs> Out of all the players yeah. you could have fallen in love with. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but yeah. Well, what was the reason? I mean, like... um, I he felt like he was better than everyone else at the World Cup. I mean, I know he wasn't, yeah. yeah. But I'd been watching football for that World Cup, and yeah. I had a, a teacher at my high school who was an England fan, so I hopped on that bandwagon. Ah, okay. So. All right. Okay. Well, you're, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll forgive you for hopping on the bandwagon, but um, now you're here. Now you're on the yeah. bandwagon. What did you think of today's game? I mean, I loved it. I think playing the youth was probably the best thing we could have mm. done. Like, mm. Rodon was incredible for how long he's been with us. The dude saved us at least twice. Um, mm. There was that ball that came across the box that he, like, backheeled out of the way which was incredible. And it wasn't something you would see from Toby or Dyer or anything like that. Mm. And Sanchez was fine, which is a step up from where he normally is. Um, mm. And then we saw a really good play out of both fullbacks today, which I thought was nice because Tanganga really, mm. he showed up and he hasn't mm. been given a lot of chances, but I'm hoping he does for the rest of the year because he was massive for us. He was. He was brilliant, wasn't he? And that's the thing. It's, like, it's so frustrating when you can see that performance and then, you know, and then he gets dropped for Doherty. He just puts in like shocking performances. What do you think it is? Do you think that's just a just to the fact that they paid the money for him and the reputation's there? It has to be because yeah. you can't you can't justify keeping Doherty around mm. when he plays side passes or just loses the ball. And then yeah. you have a guy like Tanganga who clearly he's been doing it in training because mm. otherwise he wouldn't be getting the start. Yeah, and he's getting picked over him. So I know it doesn't make any sense. But you're right though that he played really well. Um, did you think Regulon had a good game then? I think Regulon played well. I mean, it, it sucks that he got hurt. Mm. Hopefully it's not a long-term issue. Um, and I think if we play like that, we'll be okay. Because mm. I noticed Hoybear dropping a little bit farther deeper. So it was kind of mm. like playing with a back three and having the wing backs. Mm. Yeah. I kind of like that. Mm. But. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice when there's a little bit of damage on the flanks rather than just, you know, like when we actually have something good there, it makes yeah. a big difference, doesn't it? To when we uh, have players like Doherty there who aren't, aren't yeah. doing anything. But um, all right, cool. So what else did you notice from the game? I mean, would you say, would you say we're back or <laughs> what was your... <laughs> so I hesitate to say we're back, mm. but I think if you talk to anybody in like August mm. and you said top four in a trophy, they'd bite your hand off, right? Mm. And right now we're like three points off of top four. I think we're three points behind Chelsea. Mm. If we catch them and we win the league cup, mm. you'd say that's a successful season. Mm. I mean, it's, it stinks that we were, we started the season very well and slowed down, but mm. if we catch back up, I feel like that's fine. Mm. Okay. All right. So you'd be, uh, if we do get fourth and we, uh, we somehow managed to pull a rabbit out of the hat against Man City, yeah. then that's a good, that's a season well done. I, I mean, I'll take it. It's a trophy. It mm. leaves us in the Champions League next year. That hopefully means we get to keep Kane and Son. Because mm. if we don't win either, or if we don't win the League Cup mm. and we don't make the, the Champions League, I don't see why either of them would want to stay. Mm. You know, yeah. they're closing in on 30, and that's not a spot that you want to be trying to move from. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, so how likely is fourth then, do you think? I don't see why we can't do it. I think if we play this team week in, week out, and we play the way that we played today, there's no reason we should be dropping points to that many teams. You want to see the team today, the form like the, the team sheet today yeah. going I want to see the, really? You want to see the young uns. Everybody seemed like they really wanted to be there. You didn't yeah. have any like I was watching it and there's been walking for the past mm. couple of weeks, just mm. strolling about waiting for the ball to come to them. And now we're actually playing like we want to be there. You know, Rodon clearly wanted to be there. Sanchez was making tackles. He made a couple 
dumb decisions outside mm. the box to give away free kicks, and we got mm. lucky there. But I think he yeah. he played reasonably well for what was mm. asked of him. And it's the yeah. same thing with Tanganga and um, Carlos Vinicius at top. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting uh, formation, wasn't it? It was slightly unusual that he went with that, but I thought it was good because I've been calling out for there to be a little bit more freshness into the into the lineups. You know, let some of the other players prove themselves, and 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 so it proved today. And I thought actually, you know, it paid off, didn't it? Yeah, I think we the best players are players who don't play every week. That like today, um, mm. with the exception of Mora, are I think our strongest back line that we've seen in a while was today's back line. Mm. And Vinicius, I mean, he scored a tap in, yeah. but you still have to be there to score it. And we've seen people miss those before. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I'm sure Vincent Janssen might have uh, struggled yeah. to get that one in. But um, but uh, yeah, let's talk about Mora because I, oh, my headphones went as I slammed my hand on the table there. Um, Pete, what I used to say, uh, play Mora instead of Bergwijn. I used to come into so much shit for that. But I mean, what the last few games he's played, Mora's looked, he's been more sexual, yeah. hasn't he? Oh, he's been insane. I, Lucas Mora, I think we saw it a little bit at the end of Potch where mm. we had to play him up top out of necessity, you know, losing Son and Kane. Mm. And he was able to do what he did in Amsterdam because he had the, the flexibility of being in the middle of the field. Mm. Instead of having to just run up and down the right wing and cover, he got to run up the entire middle of the pitch mm. and cover. And I think that gives him the flexibility to do all the things that he can do. Because mm. I'm, I'm not convinced he has the best decision making, mm. but he can be a very good technical player in terms of his ability to dribble past people. Yeah. And if we can unlock that and then just dump the ball to somebody who finishes a little better, that seems pretty good to me. That's a good formula to me. Yeah, that's a good formula. <laughs> All right. So um, going forward, then, I mean, we're three points behind Chelsea now. I mean, do you think that's uh, insurmountable or not? I think so. Chelsea's not still on the bounce. I don't see them. S- Staying that far forward from everyone else. Like mm-hmm. they're playing a very mm-hmm. defensive team so mm-hmm. far that I've seen. Um, and they're not scoring a whole lot of goals. It's more about keeping clean sheets. And I, we saw what happens when you try to keep clean sheets all year. It just kind of fizzles eventually. Mm. And if they don't score more than they're, I mean, obviously you score more than you can see, you win games. But I think they're going to find it very difficult because they're going to start getting found out. Okay, good to know. So you think we might even do it? We might, we might I, pick them. I think we could. I think we could. I'm a little. Is this optimistic. your? Is this your plucky, um, like newly found Spurs fandom kind of <laughs> mentality, I, or do you think there's a? Do you think genuinely we could do this? I think there's a genuine chance we do it. Um, mm. We do have to be injury free. Mm. Uh, we can't lose Regulon because if we lose him, mm. I'm not going to say Ben Davis shuts down our attack mm. on the left but he doesn't help as much as Regulon does. Mm. And I don't see anyone else particularly threatening for the top four slot. Mm. Like you have the top three and that's locked in, Mm. but West Ham dropped points today to Arsenal, which Mm. I know rich of me to talk about after what happened a week ago, but like, Mm. They're not that good of a team. Yeah, I think we've got Uh, West Ham. Yeah, I think we. I think. Well, I think if we can't be um, beating West Ham this season, then uh, you know you can't really say much. But I think I think we can we can look beyond West Ham. It's just I think it's a shootout between us and Chelsea now. I would agree with that. Um, Chelsea, they scare me, but there's plenty of places for them to drop points, and there's plenty of places for Mm -hmm. if you see like one person go down in that Chelsea lineup, even if it's for a game or two, that's our spot to pounce on them. Like Mason Mount, their entire team is running through him. <laughs> yeah. And that's their midfield. And if he goes down, it's like us losing Kane. We just kind of shut down and hope. Do you know what? I actually think that we can cope without Kane, believe it or not. I, I know I know he plays a really important today. I thought he was brilliant because he came back and he really tried to get involved with the set with the, the build up of the of the, yeah. of the play. And he hasn't been doing that recently. But I think we can cope without Kane. I really do. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. It depends on how progressive Vinicius can be when he has the ball instead Mm -hmm. of just kind of playing a one pass and then hoping to get one on the end instead of, you know, participating in the buildup. But I could see it working without Kane. You play play Vinny, would you, instead? I mean, if we we lose Kane, I think you have to go Vinny up top and then probably switch to a 4-3-3 so you have another 
person in the box. Mm. Um, either, well, if, when Sun gets back, hopefully Sun can play with him. Um, but I don't see why Mora can't be scoring from similar spots. Yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, it's actually, it's worked out well that, I mean, some of the, the fringe players that were on the periphery at the beginning part of the season are now being like really influential and effective for us, like your Lamellas and your yeah. Moras and players like that. If Bergwijn could step up and uh, start like, you know, nicking the odd goal and his confidence getting back up again, I think this could be a really nice like uh, rotation of the squad. So um, yeah, hopefully we can see some of those, uh, you know, the whole squad play its part this season. But anyway, Gordon, yeah. thanks. Is that first time call? Yeah, it is. Then you make it to the Telegram group, my friends. You make it into the Spurs over them. Um, you have now become a VIP <laughs> in certain, uh, certain uh, terms. Um, so we'll be seeing you in there. Thanks for your call, Gordon, and uh, in enjoy the rest of your day and uh, up the Spurs. Thanks. Up the Spurs. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs>